Hello, Cherie Hansen here. <clears throat> Had a good night's sleep last night and managed to get my things done smoothly. And as I was sitting Wim Hof meditation today, what came to me was an image of a time I went to the Birken Forest Monastery, which is in a forest up by Kamloops, outside of Kamloops. You drive along this forest road going up in between the trees, and the monks live in tiny houses all around in the forest and have one tray of possessions, a food bowl, a change of clothing, uh, their slippers or their shoes, depending on which one they're going to wear, and their book of Buddhist meditations. And that's it. And as I sit in my house with a circus load, with <laughs> a horde, with a mass of objects all around me, I'm very slowly allowing myself, as I pick up each item, to ask, do I need this? Have I used this? Is this good enough for me? And it's helping me to offload. <clears throat> All of this is the path that seems to be calling me right now. And when I went to the Birken Forest Monastery, there was a sign in the hallway that said, Step softly on the earth. And I was thinking about that today. I was thinking about our impression that we make on the earth. The, the image of the Chinese high tower diver who enters the water and there is no splash. To live in such a way that you are constantly aware that your presence, your choices, your energy is shifting everything around you. And so the goal that I keep focusing on is how can I be the calmest in this moment? What is this moment asking of me? Is it asking of me to be angry, to be, you know, grabbing, to be adrenalized, to be rushing around. And it isn't. Everything that needs to get done will get done. Softly. <laughs> Slowly. The next thing. It's like a dance. It's like moving invisibly through all of the structures of society, of your identity, of your ancestry, of your past, you know, and, and, and it means you have to give up performing because your focus is so much inside you that you're not busily preparing a persona to be applauded or to be um, stroked or to be noticed. You don't come in banging cymbals. You're not part of a marching band anymore. You're just gently Gently stepping on the surface of each new day, which is a new reality. And allowing things to come to you. I have a list of things that I think I will do, but what I've learned to do with that list is be confident one day I will have 
the energy, the time, and the focus to get rid of all the extra shoes I own. And I'm finding without intending to, I've already gotten rid of 29 pair. I know, it's just sinful, isn't it? <laughs> so then you get into a place of just this soft and gentle, slow, and tender connection with the reality of now. I'm not trying to take a chainsaw and change its shape. I'm not trying to take an ax and chip out a grizzly bear climbing <laughs> a tree stump. There, there's no trying anymore. There's just that sense of discovery. Oh, look at that. These, these plants over here have dry dirt. I think I'll fill the container with water and water them. And absolutely the opposite of the way I've lived most of my life, which was hack, grab, pull, push, struggle, fight for it. And when I first heard this explained to me by Eckhart Tolle and by Abraham, I resisted it. And I was like, you're crazy. If you're not out there fighting orcs, <laughs> You know, the whole world will just go to hell. <laughs> well, the thing that's happened with me being 80 and having lived so long is I know that the whole world will go to hell. <laughs> it's going to find new ways to go to hell, <laughs> okay? It's kind of like, let's go this way. No, we'll go this way. And we go like, oh, my God, I have to fight this. No, no, you don't. The hardest thing to do in life when you're conditioned to our culture of snatch and grab, we're, we're like, you know, uh, thieves, like, a cat burglar. We're constantly thinking we have to climb up the side of a high rise or an apartment building and try to jimmy the window open and sneak in and grab something for ourselves. And that puts us in a place where basically we don't think we deserve these things. I don't deserve prosperity. I don't deserve love. I don't deserve my flowers to bloom. I have to push. I don't deserve an income that will sustain my family and myself. And for so long, I was locked into that sense of scarcity and fear. It was absolutely awful. Well, there's my phone. I'm going to ignore it and see how long it takes to go away. <laughs> and so this is a thing that really came in through me today. And that was softly, softly, carefully, gently, and who are you gentle with? You're gentle with yourself. You're gentle with the earth. You're gentle with the people around you. You're in a place where you're not living in survival mode. You're in a place where because you've slowed down, because you're more aware, you start to see how damned lucky you are. You're not constantly, 
oh God, I've only got 29 pair of shoes that I can't wear. You know, I need to get more. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> So I, I really want to emphasize this today to anyone who is out there in the divergence of the two paths, fear, survival, feeling hunted, feeling insecure, or in a place of commitment to love of the self, to love of the earth, to a calm and quiet world. And if you're there, this is the fun part. You're actually helping to create it. Look at you. Look at you go. <laughs> softly, softly, gently, lovingly. We're making a lighter world. And I want to thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would ask you to please do that. I so want this message to get out to more people. Um, I am coaching individuals and helping them through the, the briar patch, <laughs> the thicket with the thorns uh, to come to a place where they're very clear about their purpose on the face of the earth, why they chose to come here. Yes, send me in! <laughs> like, what were we thinking? <laughs> and they're very clear about how they want to take care of their body, how they want to encourage their mind to work in a more substantial way, and how to be a more loving and compassionate person. We have to learn these things because the culture did not teach it to us. And I want to say to all of you, I appreciate you.